Hello, so today we are taking a look at the supercarrier add-on from Miltech in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're using the recently released Heatler NDFOX Teco collaboration on the Tomcat. So we're going to find out what the, the Miltech carriers give us. So we're on the USS Ronald Reagan at the moment. Uh, we're going to jump inside the aeroplane. It's still quite noisy inside the aeroplane, isn't it? It's quite amazing, actually, just how loud it is. Let's just check our volume levels here. And turn it down a bit so you can at least hear me over the top of the aeroplane a little bit. Okay, so this is the super carrier add-on. So once you've got it installed, this is one of the carriers in the group. If you look out sideways, it's a good point, actually, that you can switch this on and off in the cockpit. Um, you'll notice the sea is going past. We are actually moving, and that's one of the features of the super carrier add-on. Yeah, and we've also got other ships in the group, which is what you'd expect. Okay, so you can see a whole group of people stood around doing nothing at the moment. And you'll also look in the, the top of flight simulator, and you'll see you get a super carrier add-on, which opens a new window, and by default it shows you landing. If you go to controls, you can say what you're intending to do. So if we say we were going to look at launching from the catapult over here, then it puts the crew in place to give us some um, guidance. So let's go and taxi over there. So I haven't got the wings extended yet, it's worth pointing out. The guidance given by um, the crew is not accurate. You see, he's just waving randomly, basically. We'll try and make his life easy for him. Let's put our head tracking on as well. So we can see around the pillars. Okay, so parking brake on. So he's telling us now to kneel the nose of the aircraft and do the wings. So we kneel the nose and we do the wings. So we can see that happening. Push that in, close the cover, hit the reset button, extend the flaps, which will extend the slats as well, which is good. Okay, so we've got the wings, and now we just click the tick box to tell them we've done everything they're asking, and then we just get ready for the launch. So Again, this is really a pause moment for you to get everything ready that you're wanting to do. You can see the various crew members just stood around the aircraft. It's quite static. It's not as good as the, the one at DCS, but then it's a lot cheaper, so... Let me hit go. And hit the afterburner. And we're away. It's very smooth the way it takes off, which is quite good. Okay, so we'll turn away from the carrier and get a look at it behind us. You can see it has a wake, which is quite cool. Let's just turn around. And you can also see around the area all the other various warships in the group, which is what you'd expect. Okay, so what do we do for landing? So we can switch over to landing and you get the, call, the ball basically showing up in the corner. You can make this smaller by the way to Actually, no, it doesn't scale. I thought it might scale, but it doesn't. 
so we're not going to worry about that. So they will score your landings. So it's just coming around. We'll lose some airspeed on the turn. Put the HUD into landing mode. Now, this I've had mixed success with this. On a static carrier, it seems to work really nicely. But it seems to get confused with itself on a moving carrier. Notice the velocity vector isn't agreeing with what's actually happening. Yeah, we've gone high, that's because I didn't have the hook ready. Got distracted. So we'll go around again. That really gives you a really good example of the call acts you're getting from the landing signals officer, which is fantastic. So we'll leave the flaps in the gear down. It will help in, induce some drag on the turn around the carrier. And we'll have another go. And this time I'll remember that <laughs> to have the hook down. So we're climbing a little bit, we shouldn't be doing that. There is a very prescribed um, pattern into a carrier normally, but it's debatable whether you can do it very accurately in flight sim, because it's just not that accurate in terms of flight model. Especially for this Tomcat. It's quite amusing actually, the, the documentation, Orbex have got the documentation available for the F-14 because it doesn't actually come with the one you buy in the marketplace for flight simulator which is absolutely bizarre. Um, yeah, the documentation pretty much says that they've done what they can with the flight model. But you know, not to expect wonders. Okay, should we see if we can do this a bit better this time? So you can see the, the ball there, so if I dip, you'll see the, the ball come down. So it's a bit backwards than you'd imagine. So it doesn't mean you're above or below, it means the line... Well, it means your position is below or above or below, not that the line is. It's the opposite of ILS. I'm not going to wave off because we're okay. Okay, so you can see basically how it works. You've got the ball showing over here and yeah, you get the audio cues on the way in which are really handy. So once, obviously once we've got the um, aircraft running, we can engage the nose while steering, we've released the hook and we can go and 
steer around for another go and obviously you can switch over on the controls to go and put yourself you know out for the another launch or you can do things like putting yourself on the elevators which work so we can play games with that so say we wanted to put ourselves on the parking area or the runway or the hangar we can play games with going to yeah you can see look the elevators going down there so if we go and put ourselves in the hangar now it will actually oh and we've broken the the sim <laughs> it's interesting it does say it's experimental there we go it's work now so you can see the um it's really cool isn't it you can see the elevator coming down but if we look outside while we're inside you can see the aer various aeroplanes folded up and stowed inside the aircraft inside the aircraft carrier sorry they fit a lot down here don't they and we can play games with that so I'm not sure we can actually push the aircraft around which is a bit of a shame but we can do this quick taxi option which will allow us to just roll the aeroplane so if we yeah it's a bit tricky to see to see how to do this we might have to do about a 30 point turn here Just scratch the Hawkeye. <laughs> so if we push this out onto the elevator. Whoa! And there you can see the problem. So I couldn't actually stop it from rolling. Um, so there's a lot of generalizations in here like it said it's all experimental so let's try that once more put it back in the hangar and we'll go we've got quick taxi on so we'll roll it this way is taxi no taxi's not working now look so let's try it again I had to cycle the parking brake for it to realize that it could move All I'm trying to do for you is to rotate the aeroplane so you get to see it lift up basically. But again, like it says, it's, it's all experimental. This is stuff that the simulator really can't do. Okay, so we just should have enough clearance. Okay, we haven't, so we'll have to go diagonally across the parking area. Which it doesn't want to do. There we go. So you can see just how tight a fit some of this stuff is. <laughs> so then, obviously, we can play games with lifting the aircraft. So if we click that to toggle it, and we look from inside you can see the elevator is slowly raising can we open the canopy while we've got no power? yeah we can oh they haven't modelled the sound for external sounds coming through with the canopy open that's a shame oh they have a little bit yeah it's pretty cool though isn't it Obviously, in the real world, these um, elevators make a lot of noise. So, we're on one of the carriers in the group. The 
The Miltech Supercarrier add-on comes with many carriers. There should be a huge clank as this goes into position, but obviously it's going to be silent. So you can put yourself on any of the elevators, you can put yourself on any of the um, the catapults. It's very cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully that gave you some idea of what the supercarrier can do. And I'll see you again soon.